Soldier Boy. Child, if anybody has receipts longer than CVS, it's Soldier Boy. On Monday, the rapper gave us another reminder that he was the first to do something, but this time, it consisted of Logan Paul. Posting to Twitter, Soulja Boy stated in a joking way that he was the first to punch him down. Sharing Logan Paul's tweet from 2015 that was captioned, Dope Shoot with Soulja Boy today. In a photo of the two together, Soulja Boy wrote, The day I punched him down, I invented Logan Paul. As you know, Soulja Boy has been telling us he's the first to ever do it since dropping his new top charting single, Make It Clap. From YouTube to game consoles, Icebox, and NFTs, Soulja Boy has let it be known that he is the one that paved the way for all. <laughs> mm -hmm. As previously reported, Soulja Boy and Bow Wow are said to be participating in a versus battle. At the moment, no official date has been given. I do like Soulja Boy and I do like Bow Wow, so we'll just have to wait and see y'all. Anyway... Now, on to our next topic. Tory Lang speaks out about the celebrities that have publicly distanced themselves from him following the Megan Thee Stallion incident. He quotes, On the inside, it was love. Tory Lanez has continued to move forward with his career despite the shooting incident with Megan Thee Stallion last summer that caused an immense and immediate backlash. Now, however, in a recent interview, Tory Lanez revealed that while publicly it may seem that like no celebrities were checking for him behind closed doors, it was a totally situation, he responded. During a recent appearance on the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, Tory Lanez sat down for an in-depth interview speaking about what he's looking forward to in the ongoing development of his case involving the Megan Thee Stallion shooting, celebrities who stayed true to him, and more. Although the biggest revelation was regarding how his celebrity friends had to protect their brands publicly, but continued to show him love privately. Langs recently went on to say, you gotta understand, people have brands. Before I look at Tory Lanez like it's me, Tory Lanez is a brand. Whatever artist is their brand, at the moment, it wasn't the look to put their brand on it. Unless you were somebody who stood so far into the brand that your brand was so you, that your personal life is reflected on your brand. When it started, there were very few people like that on the outside, but on the inside, it was love. That was the weird thing about it for me. Now, I don't know, y'all. This is still pretty recent now. It sounds to me like, oh boy, just got blackballed. And I mean, I think it's really messed up because he really is talented. But who knows? It's two sides of the story. Megan's, Tory's, and the truth. And somewhere, it will be exposed because whatever's down in the dark will come to light. Now, I'm not saying that he did and didn't do it, but at the same time, there is still an ongoing investigation. We still do have to hear other third party side of the story. But at the same time, it ain't looking good for my man, Tory Lane. So y'all stay tuned and let me know in the comments. Now on to our next topic, Gary Owens and his wife, Kenya. Gary Owens, a strange wife, Kenya Duke, is once again blasting the comedian amid their nasty separation. In a lengthy post, Kenya alleged that Gary hasn't paid bills since April 2021 and hasn't seen their children in several months. It seems Kenya was triggered by a shirt Gary wore that read Breadwinner, which she took as a jab towards her and her family. Gary's shirt described Breadwinner as a person who earns money to support the family, prompting Kenya to read him for filth and accusing him of being the exact opposite of a Breadwinner. Duke went on to say, I have allowed you to tell your family, friends, and fans any false narrative that you want or need to be about us, the relationship, and our kids. Because I don't care if feeling need to defend myself or explain myself, Kenya began the winded post. You and I know what it really is. But when you go and make these dumb passive-aggressive posts and these insensitive-ass shirts, I am triggered and you now have my attention. Duke also went on to say, you haven't supported us since April 1st. Nothing, nada, zero, not electric, water, gas, not insurance, not groceries, not maintenance for the house, not the gas or maintenance of the car, not the platinum card I got for us. And you couldn't get one, not the cell phone you had for 23 years. Instead, you just got another phone number and didn't pay the bill. Klenya Kang. She added that all of their bills are attached to her social security number and credit. Then went on to say, you have paid the 4500 mortgage that is attached to your social security number and credit, but that's it. I know that's right, honey. I know that's right. You read them for Phil. 
Now, as we all know, she did file for a divorce back in March after nearly 18 years of marriage. She is reportedly seeking almost $50,000 a month in spousal support. Ooh-wee! That's a lot of shows, Gary. Because word on the street, you ain't selling out. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit the like button. And please, please, please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.